This is the inescapable prison, Dev's Vault. Here is why. First of all, it has 10 Elder Guardians. You start up by the guard putting the key card in this door. Then you put all your items in here. Don't even try to throw any items because there's hoppers everywhere. Then you sleep in this bed. Go in this kill shack. Respawn here. Make this jump. Then sleep in this bed. Do this kill shack. Respawn. Go to this thing. Bed is it called. Then here's a manual kill check. How this kill check works, the guard click this. Get under prostasis out here, kill the prisoner. Then the prisoner respawns here because there's a bed under. Then they walk up this stairway, sleep in the bed, wake up to this. Yes, there are a lot of elder guardians, you can see. <laughs> you can't break a single block. Because of the mining fatigue, you respawn all literally so often. There's literally no way to get the bed or any redstone. So, yeah, let's start on the guard part. First, the prisoner put, their put all their items in here. The items get sent here. Then they do this kill check that looks like this down to lava. Then you walk up this, then they do this manual kill check, you have seen that. And here is the guard room. It looks like this. It's pretty big actually. First, all the guards go in here, sleep in the bed, wake up and then they will have this respawn there. And here is all the items they need. And here's the way back. They get teleported here. It looks very weird. But then they, when you go back, you're here. It uses the same in the oh, stasis chamber. And now, that's the prison. By the way, it's the same for for uh, visitors, except they throw the ender pearl layer and get teleported back by this button here. So this is the inescapable devil's vault.